Hey guys, so welcome back to the new and improved channel. So in a society predicated on instant gratification, there's always a mad dash to be the first to capture and upload content. But a show like Atlanta, it ages like fine wine. So with seasons three and four on the horizon, we're going to dissect each and every episode, moment, and character arc leading up to the series finale this fall. So that's enough background. Let's dive in. Now, as we first see Darius, he gets dressed. I love the cinematography Atlanta often uses when they shoot through doorways. Not only does this feel more authentic as they currently live in a small apartment, but with the door open, the audience sees a lot going on in the room, but never actually are in the room. By only using about 30% of the screen, it makes you focus on every detail of what you actually can see. So Darius picks up some poster container and leaves as the audience find out he's going to a firing range. So after purchasing the ammo and renting the gun, uh, Darius makes his way to post up the poster, post up the poster, which the audience discovers is a target with a dog silhouette. It doesn't take long before he's approached. You can't shoot dogs. Darius is genuinely confused, not understanding why human targets are acceptable, but not dogs. This leads to an even bigger discussion as Darius is supported by a guy who says he can shoot whatever poster he wants and points out how racist some of the other posters are. So of course Darius is actually being blamed for causing a scene and is escorted for some reason at gunpoint. I don't know. Uh, the owner wouldn't even allow him to retrieve his poster. I think that was the biggest crime of this all. So while this is only about three minutes of total runtime and a subplot to what Paperboy and Earn have going on, it may be a much bigger social issue. Honestly, a question that will make some people cringe. Why do some Americans care more for dogs than they do humans? I mean, we kill and we breed chickens and cows and pigs without hesitation or thought at all. So what is it about dogs? I mean, it's hard not to bring up Michael Vick, who served two years in prison after his involvement with Bad News Kennels. Uh, Mike Vick started his career for the Atlanta Falcons from 2001 to 2006, but missed 07 and 08 because of this. He was in prison. I feel Atlanta is purposely asking the question, why are dogs' lives valued in this way? I mean, to this day, you can bring up Michael Vick's name and instantly many people will just get upset. It's like Colin Kaepernick. You just say his name and people just, some people just get mad. I don't understand it. Unfortunately, America is so desensitized seeing humans killed to the point it doesn't upset us anymore. This is America. What are your thoughts? Because I really think the whole Paperboy versus Justin Bieber is funny and it's great and we love it. And even watching Earn go through his thing, it's funny and we love it. But I think what's really forgotten, because Darius only had a few minutes of screen time, was this is one of the social issues. Like Atlanta is quick to point out all the social issues and talk about social injustices. And I think this definitely falls in line with that. And it's just, it's, it's still something, it's still a thing. This was 2016, but it's so many people that value dogs' lives when why is it why are the human targets okay it just doesn't make sense one last thing you definitely won't notice it unless you're re-watching it the way i'm re-watching all of these episodes but when darius is getting ready he stops and he pauses and he hears all the dogs barking outside of the window so while he's getting ready he may not have even been thinking about going to the firing range but the dogs definitely made him think about that so that's a cool missable detail you probably would not notice that but that's exactly what it is. But as always, if you like it, like it. If you got something to say, say it. And I will see you guys next time.